even more gearing options. If Brompton doesn't offer what we're looking for, what can we do? We're Pam and Gilbert of Two Bikes for Adventure. In a recent video, we reviewed the various gearing configurations offered by Brompton. Despite the dozen or so options presently available, some of us may still not find the gearing setup we need for long distance touring or fast cycling. In this video, we'll review some third-party solutions to improve your Brompton drivetrain. We'll use the C-Line Explore 6 speed with a 44 teeth chainring as a baseline, but most upgrades are applicable to other configurations as well. Brompton's 6 speed cassette consists of two sprockets, 13 and 16 teeth. One of the cheapest modifications is to change one or both sprockets to a different size. For example, a 17 tooth sprocket would lower the first gear by 6%. This update doesn't require much technical skill and is very inexpensive, around $5. If you can fix a flat on a rear tire, you'll be able to change sprockets. Chris by Bike and Brilliant Bike's YouTube videos can walk you through the procedure. When selecting new sprockets, three points to be aware of. Brompton uses two different sprocket fitting standards. The three-speed A and C-line utility models use the three-spline, and the 1, 2, 4, and 6-speed models use the Shimano 9-spline. You'll need to select the correct fitting when ordering. The combination of sprockets will affect the spacing between gears. Some combinations are better suited for climbing or speed. And finally, larger sprockets, 18 or 19 teeth, may interfere with the rear frame structure, meaning you'd have to file some metal from the rear triangle. Limiting yourself to a maximum of 17 teeth will reduce the risk of mechanical interference. It's also possible to add a third sprocket to convert a 6-speed Brompton to a 9-speed. While not particularly expensive, about $100 in parts, it requires some DIY effort. Berlin and Ott has an interesting article on the subject. There's a link in our description. Another simple solution is to replace the chain ring. Besides the 44T, 50T, and 54T provided by Brompton, third-party providers offer a variety of options. Since 2013, Brompton has been using a standard 130mm bolt circle diameter removable chainring known as 130BCD. A 40T chainring will cost about $150 to achieve a 26.5 gear inch or 2.1 meters of development first gear. This online video from Brilliant Bikes explains how to replace a chain ring. For a wider gear range, the most cost-effective solution is to install a dual chain ring. Various combinations are available such as 33T-50T and 33T-54T. Most users do not install a front derailleur, instead opting to manually change the chain line depending on riding conditions. With some practice, you can learn to use your right heel to move the chain from the big to small chain ring. Brompton Family Channel has a good video on the installation of a dual chain ring. Finally, if cost is not an issue, you can simulate a dual chain ring by installing a Schlump speed drive. This push button controlled dual gear system fits in the Brompton bottom brackets and provides a 1.65 ratio increase for a total gear range of almost 500%. The trade-offs are the expense, about $700, and the 700 gram weight increase. We've covered a few of the third-party options available to improve your Brompton gearing configuration. From the replacement of a $5 sprocket to the installation of a $700 planetary gear bottom bracket, there's likely one that will fit your need and budget.